Hello everyone, my name is Hector Monzo. I recently purchased two Rittard Slider hatchlings from the Fashion District at Los Angeles. As many of you might know, that it is actually illegal to purchase a hatchling, um, especially if I believe it's two or four inches. Um, that the, I think it's four inches that the show has to be at least four inches to legally purchase uh, Rittard Slider. Um, however, um, as many of you already know, the conditions in which these turtles are being kept is very, very cruel. For instance, they are kept in very small, I would have to say about five, maybe six inch um, travel like boxes. And the sad thing about this is there's barely any water and they're barely fed and you can clearly see that the, that the animals are in distress. Now, um, they did have a few, um, pebbles that are mainly for, like, beta fish or goldfish that you would typically not want to put in a, in a, um, in a confined space with a red eared slider because red eared sliders have a tendency of fighting and sometimes ingesting some of these gravel rocks. So... You know, I personally have had a few Ritter sliders in the past, and I obviously was a little too young to know what I was doing, and they would often die, and you know, whatnot. I didn't have a proper setup, as you would say, but over the years, I gained a lot more knowledge on the species, and for some time, I had a Florida Soft Show, which I had for a good five years before he passed away. And, you know, I kind of stopped um, purchasing turtles afterwards, but actually, um, like I said, I was in the LA Fashion District and I saw these animals and, you know, I, I obviously felt like I needed to do something and I know that a lot of people might judge me on this, but I did purchase two. And, you know, I didn't have a very proper setup. I had maybe one area where they can climb on and a small tarantula tank which I um, used for about a day or two and you know I felt like that wasn't right so I actually went to Petco and I bought a Livingston um, aquarium setup which is basically a petco um, economic version of a cheaply made aquarium but it came with a filter a uv light and it came with um i'm sorry a big enough space for the hatchlings to move around in and I went as far as to buy a heating lamp, not a heating lamp, my apologies, a water heater, which keeps the water at about 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm sorry. And I even went ahead and bought a um, thermometer, so I think I said that right, so that I can monitor the temperature within the water. And I went to Michael's, which is like surprisingly right next door, and I bought a, I bought a few bags worth of rocks, which I kept in there for decoration, and I went ahead and bought a few artificial plants. Now, the thing with this is you can either purchase actual plants or artificial plants. Now, the reason I chose artificial plants is because red eared sliders tend to nibble on plants and sometimes that isn't good for them. Now, I did buy a few areas for them to bask on because I don't I don't like the, the ones they have there. I don't feel like they're natural enough. So, you know, they're great. I don't have anything against them, but I, um, I wanna show you guys what I did with my setup. And 
I also recommend you purchase, um, it's a blue liquid, I'm sorry, I have it right here, I'll get it in a second, and what that does is, it eliminates any chlorine, or any lingering nasties that you don't want your red haired sliders to be exposed to, and at the same time adding calcium and electrolytes to the water source. Now, I did purchase baby pebbles for them, and I also purchased some snacks, so it includes a bit of worms and dried shrimp and some other small nutrients, but I do not recommend you to feed your red earth sliders um, shrimp, because shrimp is very tasty for them, but it offers no nutrients. And if you spoil your red eared slider, they will get in the tendency of only wanting to eat dried shrimp. And that is not something you want to do. The same goes for romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce is a wonderful snack for them, but it's not something that you want to generally be giving them. Now, red eared sliders typically don't eat a lot of fruit in the wild. But on certain occasions, you can offer them some banana. I heard banana is very tasty for them. And it's not very bad, but I wouldn't do it very often. Now, I bought two hatchlings, and as many as you already know, I won't be able to see, I won't be able to find out the sex about two to four years of age. And here they are. And hopefully, you're able to see them. And, you know, they are quite adorable, actually. They, and they stick together, and red eared sliders are actually very territorial, so I made sure to give them, I made sure to buy this specific tank, which gave them like a bit of space, so that both of them could have their own private area. And as you can see, I did this thing with the gravel, so that the water gradually starts out deeper in this end, and gets, um, what would you say, shallower on this side so that it's easier for them to swim around and hide around the plants and whatnot. And I have the water heater inside the tank. Now the cool thing about the water heaters is that the water heaters actually automatically turn on and off so you don't have to worry about being in a hot summer day and the water heater automatically being on all the time. Now as far as water filters go, I'm sorry, uh, I think I said that right, um, this one, I have it pretty high right now because they were feeding, but I don't recommend keeping it too high because they might disrupt their feeding habits, but I myself am a novice when it comes to red root sliders, I'm still getting used to this, at least I had the decency to go out and buy all the essentials, so, now I'm not an expert in any way. All the facts that I've mentioned are from self-studying and from self-research, mainly from um, websites that have red-eared slider and, um, care instructions and tips and different methods that people have used to raise a healthy red-eared slider. Now, I think they're wonderful pets, don't get me wrong, but they should definitely be purchased by people who are definitely well informed and very well aware that these turtles can grow about 12 inches in length sometimes even 14 so it is a big commitment for every inch the shell grows it is recommended that you purchase i mean i'm sorry that you add 10 gallons of water and for a in my personal opinion i have this setup which isn't very big now the actual aquarium, which is right over there, I ended up spending about $48, $53 in total with taxes from Petco. And the repto, uh, the water heater was around $30, if I remember correctly. And in total, you end up spending at least one hundred dollars to give everything to get everything that's essential for your um, Raider Sliders care. And people don't really notice. People tend to buy these turtles, and they tend to keep them in small 
in the very in a very small enclosed space with barely any water and barely any um, care. And as many uh, as many of you are already aware of that are familiar with rudder sliders is that they're very um, fond to diving. So I believe that keeping your turtle in the environment where there's barely any room to dive in is very cruel. Now, like I said, I'm still very new to this. I'm still learning. So if you see that there's any issues with my aquarium or if you have any tips, please feel free to message me. And I will definitely fix my mistakes because I'm trying to learn from the experts that are on YouTube on how to properly take care of my rudder sliders because I definitely want them to grow and prosper. So I know that it's a commitment. Rudder sliders can live up to 20 years or more. So these are lifelong companions in a way. And just like any other animal, they deserve a caring, loving home that with that, I'm sorry, they deserve a caring, loving home with a family that's not only going to support them, but that's going to provide for them just like any child would need that same caring, loving environment. Now, I only purchased two because it is very difficult to take care of radio sliders as they get older. And I could have easily have bought in more, but that would have been really bad, especially because if I end up having, let's say, two females and five males, the females would obviously have to be moved and put in a separate tank because the males tend to pesker the females, and eventually the females will stop eating, and eventually that can cause problems for your turtle's health. Now, females tend to produce eggs on the, they they tend to lay eggs but the eggs won't get like they don't hatch unless they're fertilized but as far as I can tell I don't have to worry about them for a while but as I mentioned before um, I want to know what's best for them and I'm definitely going to try and you know provide for them the best way the best that I can now as far as like keeping in bio windows, you can already see, I know that's bad. It can actually lead to pneumonia and whatnot. But this is only temporary until I get, until I get paid in my next paycheck. Unfortunately, I get paid bi-weekly, so I have to put all this on a credit card. <laughs> but as soon as I get the money, I'll buy a proper stand and relocate them probably in the bedroom that's far away from a window um, from a window so that I don't have to worry about them getting sick now another thing is that as far as babies go um, they do require extra care so just to make sure they weren't sick I am going to purchase a calcium rock on Amazon I'm going to keep in, um, using the drops in the water and I'm gonna keep on feeding them. I feed them only two to three times a day and I feed them as much as they can handle. And they're still not feeding, they're, I'm sorry, they're still not eating as much as they should because they're still new. They're still getting used to their environment and I have moved them into two different, three different um, aquatic um, environments since I've purchased them obviously in that little um, that little excuse of a home that they were purchased in and then later on into my temporary <laughs> tarantula uh, setup and then eventually into this all within three days of purchasing them and now I want to make them happy and provide an excellent safe environment so like I said Thank you for watching my video, and please correct me on any mis misinformed information that I might have provided. My name is Hector, and it's a pleasure to hear from you all, and I will keep updating you guys on the progress of my hatchlings. And I will keep um, uploading videos, possibly bi-weekly or whatnot, on the progress of their health, and their habits, and whatnot. So. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Oh. Never mind. <laughs>